So we're making some progress. Little Miss Bailey is getting in the pool on her own. She's doing it for some crack, we, what we like to call. <laughs> Kelly has definitely helped. This is the first time we're doing it without Kelly in the pool. <laughs> Try to swim over there. Sit. Yeah, no, I know. That's Girl. pretty good for her. That's very good, Bailey. Good, Bailey. Good, good job, Miss Bailey. Bailey. Yes. Good you can stop photobombing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you want more. Oh, Bailey, you did it on your own. Good job. Callie, you're adding some, some amusement, but we're more interested in Miss Bailey's progress. Bailey, that was very good. That's twice. <laughs> Third time is a charm. All right. You want to see Miss Callie? Bailey, you want to see? You want to chase after Miss Callie? Bailey, Bailey. Oh, that's awesome. That's perfect. All right, Callie, go get it. Get it, Callie. Good job, Miss California. Gone. All right, so we haven't gotten Bailey swimming yet, but we've gotten her to go into the pool herself a couple times. We're giving her treats. Callie's been a good influence as long. Problem is Callie likes to swim and she's horrible at it. And when she splashes, that causes Bailey to bark. And that, that agitation to a certain extent has been helpful. Uh, but right now we're just having her linger, hanging out in the pool. And as long as Callie can't see a ball and she won't splash, there we go. So all we want the Bailey to do is just learn she can go in the pool and come out on her own accord. And when she does go in the pool, we, we're giving her some treats, some reinforcement, letting her play with Callie or whatever it is. And we have steps here. So if you ever try to do this with your dog and you have steps, always try to make sure they go in and out of the pool the first couple times, just like this, on the steps. Uh, don't, don't pull them off on the side because that can be dangerous because then the dog might try to do that later on. And a lot of times dogs can't do that. They can drown. So if you have steps, this is ideal if, for, to teach the dog to go in and out here on the steps. If you don't have steps, they make little contraptions you can put on the side of it that the dogs can pull themselves out of. It's really important that you have those. Anytime you're introducing that pool to a dog, I unfortunately have some friends and clients whose dogs have drowned because they didn't know how to get out. We want to make sure that's not the case. But swimming is a great way for dogs to cool down. It's a wonderful way for them to exercise. I find it's safe uh, for them to do so, so I'd make sure it's supervised. Callie's been very helpful here and uh, Really, all you want to, uh, at this stage, all we want Bailey to do is linger in the pool. And she wants to get out. She gets out and goes, gets, gets to have you get out. And Kelly's going to splash like crazy. Kelly, come on in. Kelly, come on in. This is the agitation I was talking about. concern for Callie is why she came in. And look at that, she came in swimming. That's the very first time she did it on her own. Jesse, get some treats. And we got it on film, Bailey. There you go. <laughs> All right. Very good, Bailey. Good job, Miss Bailey. You got it. You did it. This Callie, way. you help. Jesse, director, this way. I can't write you off for my taxes. You do help with dogs. <laughs> Alright, so these are the tips you can use if you're trying to get a dog to learn how to swim with another dog. <laughs>